Someone can say amen. amen. For those who has Bible, let us read the Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8, verse 50. The Bible says, And Jesus said to the centurion, Go, it shall be done for you as you have believed. And the servant was healed that very moment. Yes. Let us read again Mark chapter 5. Mark 5. At home you can start from verse 21. But I will read only verse 28 this morning for you. For she thought, if I just touch his garments, I will get well. Amen. Amen. This is the two portion of verse I would like to share with you this morning in this big topic which is according to your faith it will be done to you. It means that there is no more problem with God. Now it's you. God has already done everything. Now everything depends with you. Can you say amen? amen? Now let me just give you some defi definitions of the word faith for you to understand exactly the mind of God behind this topic. The first thing I will say is the word faith comes from the Greek word called pistis. And pistis means Attachment. Business means trust. It means that if I say that I have faith in God, it means that I'm attached to God. I'm trusting God. That's the meaning of faith. Business means also Confidence, unconditional trust. You don't have to ask yourself some questions. You have to believe. That's business. When you read the Bible, you will see somewhere the disciples of Jesus were in the boat, and it was like around 3 a.m. But they saw someone coming to them, walking in the water. And that was very, very strange. Because in their mind, only the ghost can walk in the water. A normal human being could not make it. And when you read the Bible, all of them, they were afraid to see someone walking on the water. That was very, very strange. I know that sometimes in your life, you have some kind of situation, yourself you are afraid. You don't believe that you can make it. You thought maybe only someone else can do it, but not me. Someone else can be healed, but not me. Someone else can have a good house, but not me. Someone else can get married, but not me. I'm coming this morning to tell you, this is your time. If you have faith in God, you can do also great things. Yes. Someone can say hallelujah. hallelujah. If I'm trusting God, I don't have to ask the question to know how that could be possible. I have just to believe. That's the meaning of business. And you know what happened? The time all the disciples were like afraid about the person who was coming to them walking on the water. The Bible says that only Peter stood up and said that, Lord, if it's you, let me come to you. And Jesus said, it's me, Peter. Just come. You know, the water did not change in the ground. But because of the pieces, Peter believed that the word that came from the mouth of Jesus can make it possible. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. I want you to have faith in God. If you have faith, you should be trustful in God. Even if now you feel pain, but if Jesus say that you, you are him, just trust and say amen. Are you blessed this morning? Yes. Am I talking to someone? Yes. Hallelujah. That's the meaning of the word business. I trust God. I don't have money. I don't have a good job. But if God told me that my son, you bless. Even if you don't have something in your pocket, just believe. I trust God. Because God cannot lie to me. Whatever he said to me, that's the truth. I don't have to ask myself any more questions. I just believe in the word of God. Are you believe this morning? Yes. If you believe, clap your hands for the Lord. We praise God. The word faith means also, I can say, faith is like the projection of yourself in the future. It means we are now, this morning. But a woman or the man of faith will look yourself what you will be in the future while you are in the present. In the present you see. In the present you don't have peace. In the present you have many problems in your mind, in your body, in your mind. But by faith you believe that even if today I'm sick, but tomorrow I will be good. Yes. Amen. Do you have faith in God this morning? Yes. Change your mind. Change your sight. I want you to project yourself in the future. Yes. I want to see you as God seeing you. In my, in the God mind, you are not a loser. Right. In the mind of God, you are not a sicker man. Right. In the mind of God, you are not a poor woman. In the mind of God, you are blessed. Right. I thought maybe you will say hallelujah. hallelujah. God is wonderful. That's faith. I don't care my 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 my, my uh, current situation, yes. but I believe in my future with God. Yes. Another thing very important about faith is faith is the fact to believe that God exists. Yes. Do you believe that God exists? You know, we have many people, they are coming even to church, but they don't believe that God exists. Right. True. It's not make sense. How can you come in the presence of God, but you don't believe that God exists, really? I remember when I came here in America, I met like two people, and when I was sharing with them the word of God, I asked them, do you know God? They told me, no, we don't know God. And we don't even know that God exists. That's very, very weird. But I want you to believe this morning. God exists. I don't have to prove you that God exists. But God himself, he will defend himself. Hallelujah. This morning, believe that in this room, God is here. We're not here just to see each other. We're here because God himself is in this place. Now, I want you to say hi to God. Say hi to him. Wow. May God bless you so much. You must believe that God is in this place. Because the Bible says, For he who comes to God must believe that God exists. God is a real God. He's the God who can touch. He's the God who can walk. He's the God who can hear. He's the God who can do everything you need. That's God. And I want you in this short moment to believe that you are not alone, my sister. You are not alone, my brother. God is with you. The only good with God is that God can be with you everywhere you can go. In your bedroom, God is there. 
Hallelujah. In your car, God is there. In your office, God is there. Everywhere you can go, God can go with you. If now, God is here. I'm not the one who's speaking. It's God who speaks in me. Hallelujah. And I want you to believe that your life will never remain the same. Another thing about faith, faith is the key that allows us to open the treasury of the heaven. If you want to go to the Walmart to shop or to do something, you need money, your credit or your debit card. Only those stuff can help you to buy something. If you don't have credit or debit card, you should have maybe cash with you. But if you don't have cash, you don't have credit or debit card, if you go to the shop and you just start taking stuff, they will say that you are a thief. Yes. And you yes. can be arrested. Yes. But in the kingdom of God, you don't need money. You don't need money to access in the God depots. You need only faith. Yes. If you have faith, Faith will help you to have access in the bank of God. And with faith, you can take everything that God has in his treasury for you. Do you understand something? Do you understand something? That's the only thing that God wants you to have. Faith. When you are praying, and when God look at you and he see that you have faith he will open all the doors and he will give you whatever you want the problem is you the problem is your mind the problem is the way you see god the problem is the way you believe god the problem is the way you are coming in the presence of god you should have faith that's very important in the shop of god we don't need money we need faith with faith you will get your healing with faith, you will, you, you will get your freedom. With faith, you will get whatever you want. Only faith. That's the only requirement that God asks you to have this morning. Faith. If you have faith right now, you can be healed. If you have faith right now, the story of your family can be changed. If you have faith right now, your face can start to shine with the glory of God. If you, when you have faith, the, 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 the tears upon your face can be weaponed by the name of Jesus. Yes. That's faith. Faith changes situations. Yes. Faith can bring joy where you were crying every day. Yes. I want you to have faith in God. Yes. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. The same Lord who healed yesterday is the one who can heal you now. Yes. The problem is faith. Oh, that's very important. The last thing I can say, I think we have many things, but I can say this. Faith is the ability to refuse. The Bible says that when Moses grew up, he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. That ability to say that it's over now. This is my time with God. This is my time to shine with God. Yes. Can someone say no today? Say no, no. to the to the reign of devil in your family. Every season in your family, we are just crying, crying. You should stand and say that right now it's over. The time of crying is finished in my life. This is my new season with God. Yes. And if you believe, the Bible says, according to your faith, it will be done to you. Amen. Can you say hallelujah? hallelujah? Can you say again hallelujah? hallelujah? God is able. The God I'm preaching to you this morning is the powerful God. He's the God who can touch. He's the God who can heal. He's the God who can change your story. He's the God who can hand your struggles. We praise God. By reading the Bible, 
I find, I can say, three level or three stage of faith. I believe that you can have more than three, but this morning I have only three for you. And when I was reading the Bible yesterday, I was like, oh my God, I was speechless. The first level or dimension of faith in the Bible is the centurion's faith. This man has the servant who was sick. But look what happened to him. He explained his situation to God. And Jesus was ready to stand and to go in his house and pray for his servant to be healed. But look, the level of the faith of this man. This man said to God, No, my Jesus, I don't want you to walk up to my house, but I want you just to say one word. This man believes that the word of God can do the same things that God himself could do in my life. Yeah. Yes. Am I talking to someone? Yes. He said that Jesus, even if yourself you don't walk up to my house, but your word can do your work. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that in the beginning was the word of God. Amen. In the beginning was not house. In the beginning was not money. In the beginning was not I don't know what. But in the beginning was the word. It's the word of God who created everything. And if you have faith in the word of God, your life will never remain the same. Someone can shout hallelujah. Someone can shout again hallelujah. The word of God. There is power in the word of God. He said, no, God, I don't want you to come in my house. You just stay there, but just say something. Yeah. Church of God, this is time that we should believe in the word of God. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone can speak. Your father can speak something. But the word of God is above all the oh. words. Yeah. You know, sometimes when we, you... you, you we see like a big trees, big mountains, you know. It's only the word of God who made all this stuff. Yes. Yeah. But that word of God is in your mouth. You should just speak. Say one word to your situation. You should believe in the power that is in the word of Jesus Christ. Amen. I was very happy to see this level of faith. Someone who believed only in the word of God. Someone, you know, this is the word of God for you. You should have time to read the Bible. You should have time to keep in your mind the word of God. The devil is a liar. I say it again. The devil is a liar. Just trust the word of God. If you don't know what God said about your life, you can be used by the devil anytime just because you don't know what the word of God about you. But I want you to read and to read more again. I want you to keep the word of God in your mind. Even if you are sick, just remind you that in the word of God, you were healed from all kinds of sickness. The second level of faith I called that level the synagogue official faith. His name was Jarius. Jarius also had a problem. His daughter was at the point of death. He went also to visit Jesus. But Jarius wanted Jesus to come himself yes. physically in his house. Yes. Sometimes in our life, we need only the word of God, but also in some situation, we need God himself to come and to enter in our life. Yes. Do you need God this morning? Yes. 
Do you need Jesus in your life this morning? I want Jesus to come in your situation. I want Jesus to come in your house. I want Jesus to come in your marriage. I want Jesus to come and dwell in your life. The physical presence of God. And the last level, that is even the topic of my message this morning, I called it the faith of the woman with the blood issue. This lady was passing by the very, very hard moment. Twelve years of problems. Twelve. Not two, not three, not four, but twelve years. It's too much. She was suffering. And nobody could help her. When you read the Bible, the Bible said she spent even all the money she had. When the Bible says all the money, it means that this lady did not get anything. No points. Even one dollar. Nothing. I thought if she had even a, an account in the bank, she spent all the money because every time when they told her listen there is a doctor somewhere just go and see him maybe he will do something that lady could go and saw that physician but nothing nothing happened in the life of that lady but one day the bible says that she healed about Jesus. The type of the information you receive in your life will determine the type of the result you will have. And I almost or always say that if this lady heard about Jesus while his situation had only three years, she could be healed early. You know why your situation is taking long? It's just because you don't have a good connection. It's just because you don't have a good information. That's why I want God to give you or to open for you a new doors, to give you a good connection. I want you to be at the right place at the right moment. Because if you are at the bad place, even if you pray, even if you cry, nothing can happen. Right. It's very important to receive a good information about Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. This lady, I like, I like her, really. Because for her, she didn't want Jesus to come in her house. She didn't say that, God, just say one word for me. But she said that, I will stand and I will go myself to find Jesus where he will be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. For the centurion, only the word of God could do something. For the synagogue official, the physical presence of Jesus could change something. But for this lady, she said that I'm weak, I'm sick, I have a blood issue. I don't have that strength to stand and to, and to call Jesus to come in my house. I will stand myself. I will go and meet Jesus. Yes. Your own decision can change something in your life. Am I talking to someone? Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes in life, even us as a pastor, we will not be always there for you. Sometimes you will find yourself alone. Yes. Nobody to encourage you. Yes. Nobody to talk to you. Yourself. But in that moment, you should stand and say that, I will go myself and meet yes. with Jesus. Yes. And the people of God, it was not easy for this lady. Yes. Because according to the law, all the women 
with blood issue, they were not allowed to meet with people. It means that Moses' law could not help this lady to receive her miracle. Sometimes we are coming from different families with different laws. Maybe in our family, nobody can get married and sit a long time. That's the law. That rules your family. But I want you to believe that from your faith, something new can start in your family. Jesus said that according to your faith, you see, the first person for him, if Jesus say only one word, my servant will be healed. That was his faith. The second one, if Jesus walk himself up to my house, my daughter will be well. That was his faith. And the last one, I will walk myself and meet Jesus and I will get well. Yeah. You know? The problem is only the final result. Everything depends on the way you believe. Everything depends on the way you are seeing God. If you believe that God can heal you from cancer, he will do it now. Why you don't say amen? <laughs> wow. Can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Yeah. If you believe that God can change your life, if you believe that God can bring joy in your life, he will do it now. Because the Bible says, according to your faith, it will be done to you. Let me tell you something. If you believe that now, just yeah. this morning, God can change your face, He will yeah. do it. Yeah. Just now. There is no problem of tomorrow, just now. Right. He can bring joy and peace in your family. Yeah. Just now, not tomorrow. Yeah. Because He's here and He can do it right now. Yeah. The problem is just you to believe. It's just you to trust that God is able to change my life, to change my story, and he will do it for you. Because if you stand and you sit yourself in your house waiting for someone to come and help you, no one will come. It's time for you to encourage yourself. You know, sometimes if you don't have someone to encourage you, encourage yourself. Yes. When you wake up in the morning, go in your, your, your bathroom, look yourself uh, at the mirror. Hallelujah. And start to prophesy about your life. You to know that you are your own prophet. You are the only prophet of your own life. This is time for you to say, go in your bathroom, look yourself in the mirror, and start to say a good word upon your life. Say that I'm blessed. I'm not a loser. I'm a champion. I'm a winner. I'm a son of God. Hallelujah. And God is your father. God is your shepherd. Everything depends in the way you see God. Do you see him as a small or the big God? If God is small in your mind, everything will be small in your life. But if you believe that God is bigger, everything will be bigger in your life. The law of Moses could not help this lady to receive her miracle. Right. I know that there is many stuff around your life that could not make your miracle possible. But you don't have to wait for someone to come and help you. You should stand and say that I will break. I will break all the limits. I will break all the laws. Right. I will go over the limits of human yes. because I want to reach. I want to touch my God. Yes. And when you read the Bible, there is nobody in the Bible who was healed in touching someone close. Nobody in the Bible. You see, if you have faith in God, you can start a new story yourself. Yes. You can be the first to receive that kind of miracle. Even if your neighbor never heard about someone who just touched the clothes of someone and be healed, just say that I will be the first to start that company. I will be the state, the first place to enter in that journey. I will be the first to reach that kind of business. <laughs> and the second bondage that could not help this lady to receive 
and miracle. It was the crowds. When we read the Bible, the Bible says that Jesus was surrounded with many people. And that was very, very hard for this lady to be in touch with God. Do you know the reason why you're here? If you want to receive your miracle, you should be out of the crowds. The crowd does not have a vision. The crowd does not have the knowledge of what they are, that they, 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 they have really in the presence of God. Because when I was reading this uh, message, you will find that many people, they were there around Jesus, but they did not receive anything. You know why? Because they came in the presence of God without expectation. You can't expect something from God without expectation. I don't know if I say it well. <laughs> I say this. You can't expect from God something if you come in His presence without expectation. What did you say yourself before you to come in this place? You say that no, it's Sunday. Let me just go. Because every Sunday we went to church, we worship, we listen to the word of God, and after that we go home. That's why we, 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 you are not able to receive something from God. But if yourself has this lady, you know, let me tell you something. The miracle of this lady started at home. Yeah. 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 Wow. That's right. In her bedroom, wow. where she was sitting, that's where a miracle started. Yeah. Because the Bible says she talked. She think. What is in your mind now when I'm preaching to you? Sometimes the only thing you see, oh look, that guy, his English is not good. That's the only thing you are looking for. <laughs> but if you are just looking at my English, it will be very hard for you to receive your miracle. But I want you to believe in the power that is in the word that I'm giving to you. Can you say hallelujah? hallelujah? Can you say it loudly? Hallelujah. hallelujah. Can you say it again? Hallelujah. hallelujah. Expectations. Yes. Put something in your mind. Right. What do you expect God to do for you? What do you expect God to give you? Do you have any expectation now? You should have it. Yes. It's very important. Because whatever you can have as expectation, God also has a solution to that. Maybe you don't know. God has everything you need. Everything. And when I say everything, it means everything. I can't do it. I can't make it. I can't get married. I can't give birth. I can't, I can't. If you are someone of many, I can't, I can't. Really, you can't do anything. But I want you to change your mindset. I want you to change the way you see God. It's very important. Before us to hand and pray this morning, the lady said that if I just touch his clothes, I will get well. That was a good decision. But between that decision and the re uh, realization of that de decision, there was some kind of bondage. First one, the law of Moses. Because according to the law, the lady with the blood issue could not be in touch with people. That's why she was just in the house. She could not do it. Sometimes in life, there is nobody who can give you a chance. Everybody condemn you. Everybody believe that your place is in the cemetery. Your place is not in the city. Your place is not in the business life. Your place is not in the good marriage. Your place is just in the cemetery, the place where you are just crying, crying, and crying more again. But I want you to believe by your faith. By your faith, I say it again. By your faith, 
thing can change this morning. Just take a good decision to say that from now, because Jesus dwell in me, because Jesus is the law breaker, I believe that I will break all the laws in my family and I will go away to be in touch with Jesus. And when she took that decision, she stood up. You know what I like? When you read the Bible, the Bible says that she came in the crowd by behind. You know why? Because the lady was afraid to be seen by the people. Because if someone saw her, could maybe kill her. Read correctly the Bible. According to the law, even if she say hi to someone, all the people in touch with her could be uh, yeah. Even if she sit in the chair, this chair will be impure. Even if she slept on the bed, even that bed could be also impure. It means that this lady, I don't know how to describe the situation that this lady was passing through. It was very hard. In other words, even if she was married, even the husband could not be in touch with her. She was alone. Jesus Christ is the only one. Is the one who can break all the laws of human. Is the only one who can come in your life and make you free again. Is the only one who can bring joy and peace in your life more again. Only Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You should just trust him. You should just believe that even if my father passed away, even if my husband passed away, I still have another father. I still have another husband. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because Jesus is still here, my story will never remain the same. Amen. Hallelujah. The problem is not the way you came, but the problem is the way you will go back. Maybe you came in presence of God behind has this lady. Because she has fear. Because nobody could trust her. That's why she came by behind. Because she was afraid of her life. She was weak. Because she was losing blood. That's why she came behind. Nobody could face her. Because she was crying. But listen to me. She came by behind. But the way she go, it was not the same way she came in the presence of God. I want to prophesy over your life. The way you came will be not the same way you will go back. Maybe you came crying, but I told you, I tell you, I tell you now, you will go back with joy in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus will change your story. Don't care about the way you come. You come with cry. You come with, 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 with struggles. You come maybe without peace. But because you meet Jesus, your life will never remain the same. The only thing you should do is just to find where Jesus is. You don't have problem with Peter. You don't have problem with John. We don't have problem with other person. The problem with this lady was just to find Jesus and to touch his clothes. And you know what I like? She made it. I say it again, she made it. Yeah. It was yeah. very hard. Sometimes when we are just reading the Bible, you can maybe talk that it was easy. Jesus was someone of many people around him. Many. Yes. Thousands and thousands. Yes. But imagine one lady yeah. with blood issue from 12 years. It means that she was, she was very weak. But because she had that decision, in her, she said that I don't care the presence of the crowd. I don't care the presence of Peter beside of Jesus. I don't care the presence of all these people around Jesus. My problem is Jesus. My problem is Jesus. When you come for Jesus, you will find him. Yes. When you come really to touch Jesus, you will touch him. And when she touched Jesus, the Bible says that Jesus stopped. Wow. It means that your faith can make Jesus. To stop. <laughs> wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your faith can bring the heaven down here. Yeah. God can live 
everything and come just because you, you have faith in him. Your faith can change everything. Let me tell you something. Don't let people disturb you or block you to touch or to reach your goal. Because the same people Today, they are with you. Tomorrow, they can change. Yeah. That's the nature of the crowd. Today, they can clap for you. But if you are sick, you have problems, there is no more peace for you, the same people will start to talk bad about you. Yeah. That's why in the presence of God, don't care. Yeah. Because your neighbor, you don't know him. You don't know his situation. Your problem is just to touch Jesus. Yeah. You know, I finished my message. <laughs> When she touched, yeah. Jesus closed, Jesus stopped. And you know what? When Jesus stopped, all the crowd around Jesus stopped also. Yeah. Do you understand something? If this lady could not touch Jesus, Jesus could not stop. And if Jesus could not stop, all the people around him could not stop. She understood a secret. She said that I don't have a problem with all the people. You know, sometimes your problem is not your sickness. It's not your cancer. It's not your, your, your money issue. You, I don't know the problem you can have. Do your best to reach Jesus. When Jesus will stop, all the situation around you will stop also. Can we stand in the presence of God? I'm your son. I believe in your power. I believe in your word, God. I believe in your word. I want you this morning, God, to send your word to touch my life. Can you speak? Can you speak to God? Hallelujah, Lord. God is here for you. 